folks. Got my uh, cape thread and needles ready. Sewing the hide up. Got to clay the uh, eyes in here in a minute. Clay was a little dry. I got it soaked in a bag of warm water there. Got my nostrils dremeled out. Mouth uh, slit. My tear ducts. Got a trench carved in there. And clay up the uh, antler base. What I've been doing lately is uh, wrapping a like a snake, you know, roll snake roll of clay around the antlers. And when I tuck the uh, skin up in here, then I get done mounting and I just push that clay up in there with my thumb. And I haven't had any trouble with that skin pulling away from them antler burrs. I used to have some, I used to have to take a paper mache and uh, mache all this in. And then I'd use tack nails and I'd put nails in there. When I got it done, I'd clip them off down underneath the, the fur with uh, wire cutters. But now I just use that, uh, like a roll up a sausage of clay and wrap around there and smush it up in there. Haven't had any trouble with it pulling away. <coughs> so uh, we got to fix this when we're done. Got a customer wants this uh, time back, so. I use a new McKenzie uh, pre you know, like plastic earbuds. You can get forward, backward, half back. I want you to do the forward on this one. Alert. I've been having really good results with those. Just all you got to do is put a sausage roll of clay around them, and uh, I'm gonna have to sand off a little bit of the form there to get it to fit just a little flusher, but works pretty good. Had good results with them. So uh, we're going to sew this sucker up. This is actually a 2012 deer. Get it done and get it out of here. Not 2012, right? 2013. No, 2012. It was not this last season, but the year was a year before. Late 2012. I just took a little rasp, knocked that foam down right there. Sits pretty flush now. Uh, all I gotta do is uh, clay up the skull area. And that should uh, work just fine. Got my form paste mixed up. Hide paste. That white foamy looking stuff is uh, Lysol. I spray a little bit of that in there to uh, disinfectant, mildew resistant, keeps mold from growing while this thing's drying. Keeps bacteria and mold from forming underneath the skin where it's wet. Creamy. Looks like chocolate mousse. Basically, it's just uh, potter's clay and dextrine, from what I understand. Food grade uh, deal. Dextrine is, I guess. That's all it takes to stick her down. I don't use the fancy, expensive hide paste, super hide paste. I just use the cheap stuff. Getting all that uh, excess foam off there. <laughs> got the eyes all clayed in. Rough shape, got a little clay on the nose. Got the clay on the uh, skull cap. Ears, got the glue on the ears. Inside on the hide, waiting for that to pack up a little bit. Watching a little UFC. Getting ready to sew this sucker up, fellas.
Getting a late night here. Keep this clay wet while we're waiting on the uh, ears to tack up. I take the cartilage out of my ears and put ear liners in. Some people use Bondo and just fill the ears and leave the cartilage in, but I like to remove it. Makes the ears thinner, a little crisper. Got the fucking forward paste on here, fellas. Hide paste. Don't put any right here where the seam is. At least I smash them up in there when I'm sewing it up. But uh, keep it off here for now. This paste actually helps to hide slide when you're sewing it. But you don't want it where the seam is because you don't want it to get all over the hair. It to be a little messy wiping it off. But getting ready to sew her up. Oh, well, I got this thing sewed up finally. That's right, Steel World dick nuts. Bobby Meyer might have quit doing taxidermy, but uh, now you have to put up with me, you peckerhead son of a bitch. I already threw a couple staples in it to hold the uh, hold the armpit lines right on the uh, edge there. You want that white armpit hair and that brown hair, there's a distinct line you can see, of course, in the brisket. I've put a couple staples back there to hold that. I'm getting ready to uh, fire up the air stapler and nail down the brisket. Start working my way around. Got my sewing palm on still. That's, uh, for those who aren't familiar with that, you rest that six inch needle on that uh, piece of metal right there with them little dimples and hold it like that. And you can shove that right through thick leather, anything. Anyway, it's hell, it's 1 30 in the damn morning. My clay was hard. I got a late start. I had to soak my clay in hot water so I could clay up the eyes. So. It's probably going to be 2.30 before I get this thing all tacked down. Got to position the eyes and the tuck the mouth and the nostrils and all that crap yet. So. But I'm going to hammer down the uh, back of it. I'm going to come back and uh, put some stuff together. I needed a little break anyway. Get ready to fire up the old hot rod nailer here. Stapler. All right, another brick, folks. Got that back all stapled on. Got the brisket all lined up. Looks good. Ugh. Push the ears up uh, pretty good and tight with the antler burrs. Put a pretty large T pin underneath those plastic ear uh, the ear butts to hold it, lock them up into place while they dry, keep them from sliding down. Looking pretty decent. Got to line line up the white hair and the brown hair edge right along those ear liners. Make them look crisp. Paper towel shoved in the ear in the ears to hold the skin tight while it dries. Probably put some uh, cardboard and paper clips around the edge there. Mouth's a little droopy yet. The nose is kind of blowed out. Got to tuck that all in next. Got the eyes pretty well lined up where they're ready to tuck. 
Which I got two lights in this damn shop, both in a line that, that quit working. Sucks. Kind of dark over here. All right, I gotta get back to business. Well, we're getting there. Got the mouth tucked, nose tucked. It's all wet still. Looks a little droopy. It'll all shape up once it starts drying. Everything will shrink down, suck tight. Still got to tuck the eyes in. Looking pretty decent. Got a brush job on it. Have to start uh, carding some of the low areas and the muscle lines. Make sure the uh, hide sticks down inside the creases of the muscles. Uh, like right there. There's a nice big neck muscle. Uh, right there. Uh, see right in there, you can see the... Once it starts drying, I'll tack take some cardboard strips and put it in there and put some uh, T-pins in it. Hold it nice and tight. Let it dry. All them muscles start showing through. Alright folks, we got to tuck the eyes. Well, she's together. Gotta let her dry overnight. Do a little wiggling tomorrow. A little dermian. A little taxiing on the dermy. <clears throat> She's together. Uh, got some cardboard there and uh, clips to keep the ears from drumming. Well, it's about 2.15 in the morning, folks. Uh, I'm ready to sit back and have a beer and get ready to go to bed. Uh, well, that was next, folks. I want to take choice of my, my strikes from there, obviously. Um, get the city town, get Doesn't the look too bad. Control. Got a pretty good size neck on it. Not quite the size of this one, but that was a monster. Alright, catfish redneck is getting the hell out of here.